Good morning. Welcome to Hardin County Commissioner's Court. This is a special meeting to take care of a few items that uh, we need to take care of before our next regular meeting. Today, January 30th, 2024, it is 10 a.m. and all members of the court are present. This meeting is called to order. If everyone will please rise for the invocation. <coughs> by Commissioner Young, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for today and all of your many blessings. Thank you for being mindful of us. Help us to make the right decisions and be with us as we conduct the business of the county. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item three is to consider adoption of resolution 9-24 authorizing submission of the fiscal year 25 project safe neighborhoods grant program funding application to the office of the governor criminal justice division requested by the sheriff second have a motion by commissioner young seconded by commissioner cook any discussion what is this bill is here chair <coughs> this is a it's a grant funding source uh, that targets gun violence, um, guns. There's a program called Project Safe Neighborhoods that the Department of Justice administers, and it deals with trying to get guns out of communities, trying to target gun violent offenders on the local level and try them in federal courts. And then they also make some stuff available to local agencies to help. Uh, for us, it's gonna be tech support. So we're gonna do things like poll cameras, neighborhood cameras, um, serves two purposes. Number one, it's a no match grant, so it lets us kind of beef up our tech side, but it also could let us identify other neighborhood problems, illegal dumping sites, thing, things that we're, we're looking for, for target houses, okay, houses that we the, the, the neighbors are going, hey, I think my neighbor's selling drugs. It gives us a way to kind of target that without having a marquee that's sitting there. You know, they're not going to do anything when they're sitting right there in front of them. But uh, it's a good source. We had had a visit from ATF and some of the federal partners, and they strongly encouraged us to apply. And so we took that as a we needed to. Was there something there for us? Absolutely. Thank you, Sheriff. Any other discussion? Uh, let's see. That was Commissioner Young that made the motion, right? right. And okay. Commissioner Cook seconded. Okay. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. I'm wait now. That's okay. Item four, acceptance of the 2023 racial profiling report for filing in the minutes of the court as submitted by the sheriff. So moved. Second. Thank Motion you. by Commissioner Cooper, seconded by Commissioner Cook. Anything to add, Sheriff? Just no. our regular accepting of regular this? yearly acceptance. All right. Any other discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Item five, consider request by Sharon Whitley, health director, for approval to apply for a $120,000 Improving the Health of Young Children grant to expand vaccination coverage through partnerships with local schools and other entities. Miss um, Whitley, this means that somebody from the health uh, services will go to the schools and handle vaccinations at the school campuses? That's correct. And uh, what other entities would y'all go to besides schools? Daycares that want to participate. Okay. And is, uh, I see there's no match. No match. All right. So moved. Second. That motion by Commissioner Young, seconded by Commissioner Cook. Any discussion? What's the process on that? <clears throat> is it for indigent only? Is it for it's people? It's for school age. So school if parents age. have insurance and all that, will we be filing on that? Or well, we're, we're, partner, we're going to try to partner with another uh, agency that will do the kids with insurance, and we'll be the one that fall under. State guidelines, uninsured, and no insurance. Okay. So nobody would be missed. If y'all go to do a vaccination at one of the schools, everybody would be eligible. If, if they have insurance, then whoever you partner with would take care of those kids? Yes. Thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Item six, consider approval of request by Alyssa Freeman, elections administrator, to authorize the county judge to sign notice of the Republican and Democratic general primary elections to be held on March 5th, 2024. Um, let's go over this just a little bit. To my knowledge, and uh, Alyssa, correct me if I'm wrong, there's only one change in location, and that's Precinct 2. Yes, sir. 
and that's being moved from the YYAFA to the new fire station, which is just basically right across the street there. Yes, sir. All the other locations are the same. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the first, what would normally be the first day of early voting, February the 19th, is a, a federal, state, and county holiday, so there's no election on that day. Yes, sir. What about uh, branch voting? Um, weekend branch voting? There's no weekend branch voting. Um, it's going to be local courthouse only, but branch is going to be for the full nine mm -hmm. weekdays. And then um, we're going to have 7 to 7 here for Saturday, 9 to 6 for Sunday, and then the full second week is 7 to 7 here at the courthouse as well. So when you say Saturday, that's February 24? Yes. From 7 to 7, and then Sunday, February 25th from noon to 6? Yes. All right. And then that whole next week is 7, is to, seven, seven. to 7. Okay. Thank you. Motion by Commissioner Perkendall, seconded by Commissioner Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Yay. Item 7, discussion on any other non-agenda items without taking action, including any reports from elected officials and department heads or announcements which may be of interest to the public. One more thing, Alyssa, uh, the last day to register to vote is, is February 5th? Yes. Okay, because I've seen two dates on social media. I want to make sure it was right. So Monday, February 5th, and uh, does it end at 5 o'clock in your office? Yes, sir. Okay. And then uh, the very next day, February 6th, just a reminder that the, the County Elections Commission has a meeting in this courtroom at 11 a.m. Any other announcements or any other discussion items that anybody has? Either Commissioner Perkinoff? Uh, our, uh, our bridge replacement on uh, Old Brass Road is scheduled for February the 5th contractors start moving in so that's been a long tedious process so now hopefully we'll have it done in the next couple months good deal all right anybody else yeah i want to uh congratulate you on your new endeavor uh, thank you he, he was uh appointed as the president of the southeast texas regional planning commission is it just the executive committee uh yes mm -hmm. So I think that's a, that's a, that's a nice to do. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I didn't have enough to do, but it's not really that big of a deal. But thank you. Appreciate yes. that. Anybody have anything else? Thank you all for holding a meeting today. That helped a couple of us with draft deadlines getting below the deadline. And I know you had other things going, but to stop and come for a meeting, we appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Glad to do it. All right. Who wants to move to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Cook, seconded by Commissioner Cooper. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. We'll have a great rest of the week. <coughs> On election day, every voter group.